Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create this beautiful journal dashboard in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this dashboard using four different John, East, West, North and South. So here in the left section, I have created this navigation bar wherein I have put the option button for selecting the John and then this is a drop down list for selecting the month this is the metric name which is the service label quality score and productivity for this chart now i'll show you how it works so you can see i have selected the month april here so this is the data for month of april available in these three card for service label quality score and productivity for east zone if I will select another zone, then the data will be changed for the below chart and above three cards. North, South, all right. Now, let's say for West zone, I want to see the data of Jan month, then I can select the Jan. So this is the service level, quality score and the productivity. If I will select another month, then it will give me that data. This is the monthly trend for productivity, service level and quality score for best zone. If I will select another zone, then it will give me the trend for that particular zone. In this chart, if I want to see, let's say service level and productivity only, I don't want to see the quality score, then I can just uncheck this quality score. Then the quality score line will be invisible or let's say I want to remove the productivity also then it will display just service label bars if I will select productivity and I will remove the service label then it will display this area chart for productivity only similarly for quality score it will display this line for quality score only all right fine so that is how you can read this dashboard this is looking very eye-catching you can use this dashboard in your business presentations or in your business excel dashboards now you will learn how we can create this in microsoft excel so let's start i would like to show you the data of this dashboard this is the data sheet tab here i have the month then the john this is the service label quality score and productivity all right now here i have created a support column which is the id the ID is basically the combination of John and month. So I have taken first month then John. Now I will copy this data and I will add a new workbook. I will press Ctrl N and I will paste this data here. So we will create this dashboard from the scratch. So I'll tell you the each and every step here. So please pause this video till the end. I'm gonna be rename this worksheet as data. Now I'll add another worksheet here and I will rename this as support. This will be our support worksheet. Once our dashboard will get ready, we will make this hidden and the last worksheet we will add and rename this as dashboard. Here we will create our dashboard. In the support sheet, first I would like to create the list of month. So here I'll take Jan to December. Then I'll create a list of John. So I have created a list of month. I have created a list of John. All right. Now I'll go to the dashboard. I'll create the initial design. So first of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from this worksheet. I'll go to the view and I will uncheck the grid lines from here. Now I will insert a shape, which is the rectangle shape, this one and i'll drag a big rectangle like this then i'll go to the format and shape style here i will choose this style just click on this now again i'll go to the insert and this time i will insert a text box just click on the text box and just drag this text box here like this and here you can type the title of your dashboard let's say i'm just putting here journal dashboard you can put year let's say i'm putting 2018 then just put this here align middle go to the format and shape style we will choose this shape style and now we will go to the home font name we will choose as agency fp and font size we will take around 30 
now again we will go to the insert shapes and we will insert another rectangle here to create the navigation bar here on the left side now select this rectangle go to the format and shape style we will select the same shape style this one now again i will go to the insert and the shape style i'll take the same rectangle once again i will drag a small rectangle here like this then i will go to the shape fill and i'll choose no fill for this rectangle shape outline i'll choose this one which is gray 25 percent background too then this rectangle will look like this just select this rectangle and make a copy of this you can press simple ctrl d or just copy and paste this i will press ctrl d to make the duplicate of this so you can see another rectangle is available here just put this rectangle over this in this way and now reduce the height of this and keep around this height and now i'll go to the format and save fill i will fill this color right click go to the edit text and here i will type select zone and now select the shape and change this text fill as black in format all right now make this bold align it center now go to the developer tab and here i will insert option button from form controls so this is the option button just click on this and just click here now i will rename this option button just remove this tags and put here east all right now we will fill some background color here so i'll go to the format save fill and i will fill this color here now i will make a duplicate of this so just press ctrl d after selecting this or you can use ctrl c and ctrl b so i have added a duplicate and just paste press ctrl d once again ctrl d once again we can change the size of this rectangle slightly bigger like this now i will rename the second one as best then the third one is north south all right now we will align this properly go to the format just align as left and just distribute it as vertically now i will right click on this go to the format control and just go to the cell link and i'll go to the support and i will link this here let's say on e1 and just click on ok if i will check this then you can see here available one because we have selected first option button if i will select the second then two will be here third then three will be here and the last one which is south then four will be here so simply what has been selected there we can use a index formula here index and then we can select this range comma the row number we can give this one so south has been selected south is here if i will select let's say east then east will here because it is coming in this order now we will fetch the data of these matrix so i will just copy this just paste here value and transpose now we want to get the data of these matrix but this data will be for which one so first of all we will create a drop down on the combo box for the months so i'll go to the dashboard so here i'll create another section for select month so i'm gonna be just selecting these two copy and just paste this here and just keep this below this and i will rename this as select month So we can keep this small now i'll go to the developer tab and insert and from form controls this time i will insert a combo box so i'll just click on this combo box and just click here and just resize this right click on this go to the format control and input range i'll go to the support seat and i will give this range which is the month range and cell link again i'll go to the support seat and i'll give let's say this range 
just click on ok now let's say i will select any month so you can see i'm getting this scroll here so to get the rid of this scroll what i will do a right click on this and go to the format control you can see the drop down lines is 8 i can put it here 12 or more than 12 so let's say i'm just putting 12 now if i will click you can see all the months are visible without a scroll so let's say i'm just going to select march here then i'll go to the support you can see 3 is available here so what i will do here i'll use the index function and i'll give this range comma row number i'll give this whatever month i will select in the drop down on dashboard phase i'll get the name here so let's say i will select may then i'll come to the support then you can see may is here all right now we can create a id here and the id should be the same which we have used in the data sheet so i'll show you what we have used we have used first month name then john all right so we'll use the same id first month name then john like this f2 and f1 now we have this id now we can use the simple vlookup function here vlookup we will use this id and just press f4 to freeze this comma here we will use this table array from id to service label because we want to get the service label let's say i'm using the entire range from a to f for the service level i'll put here 4 comma 0 just press enter now we can fill down this formula for the quality we can take 5 and for the productivity we can take 6 all right now just change it in percentage here i will use another formula which will be 100 percent minus this range which is i1 and just fill this down all right now we will create the card which we have used in the dashboard these card these three cards i will go to the dashboard and here i will insert a shape and that shape will be this rectangle shape and just drag this shape here like this and then i'll go to the fill and here i'll go to the more fill standard i'll choose some dark color like you can take this red color or you can choose any other color shape outline i'll choose no outline then i'll go to the shape effects preset i'll choose this preset which is preset 5 now i'll go to the support sheet and here i will select the first range which is for service label and i'll go to the insert and charts here i will insert a donor chart this one remove the chart title and legend from here and desize this chart like this now right click on this cut this chart go to the dashboard paste this chart here control b so this chart is available here pull this chart over this rectangle like this now go to the format and take shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline select the donut and choose the shape outline as no outline choose the shape fill as white this one now i'll select the second one just double click on this then you can see the format data points window will be opened go to the fill and here for this section the second section i'll transparent as 50 percent then double click on the first one and i will make the transparent as five percent then just choose the entire donut once again and go to the effects and here i'll go to the shadow and in the preset we will choose this shadow which is offset bottom and now here we will make some changes like size we will take around 105 percent blur we will take around 15 point distance we will take around 5 point so our chart will look like this now i will insert a word art from here so i'll choose this word art just click here now select this word art go to the formula bar press equal to i'll go to the support sheet and then i'll select this range which is i1 for service level just press enter and now i'll put this here in the middle of this donut i will change the font name as agency fv 
and font size i'll take around 20 i will make this bold and font color i'll choose white like this all right now i will make a copy of this and i will put this here just remove this and then rename it as service label so our service label chart is ready if i will change the zone it's working if i will select another month the data will change accordingly similarly we will create other cards like these two quickly so what i will do i'll make the copy of this copy and i will paste this here and i will make another copy and this time i will keep this here in place of service label i, I will take uh, here as quality score or quality then here i'll choose as productivity and now i'll change the range of this chart so right click and go to the select data in place of service label just edit this will take quality and range will be this time these two click on ok quickly we will do the same activity just select this shape outline as no outline go to the format data series here i'll go to the shape effects shadow reset we will choose uh, offset bottom and size we will take around 105 percent Miller we will take 15 point and uh, distance will take 5 and now we will fill the solid color and we'll take the white color for the first slice we will fill only 5 percent transparent and the second one we will take the 50 percent transparent and now we will change the color of this card also so select the card go to the format and fill this color which is the purple color and we will make a little bit lighter so we'll go to the fill more color and here we can change make it little lighter like this click on ok so our second card is ready similarly quickly i'll do the changes in the third card so select the card first this color So our third card is also ready and we can make this group right click and make this group now select these three group go to the format align these as top keep these here all right now we will create this blue chart and this chart matrix checkbox so that the chart can be changed while changing this checkbox all right so we will create in the next part of this video so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for watching